There will be wood turning, there will be epoxy, and there will be cake. I promise. Every once in a while, you get an idea in your head and you just kind of try it, even if it turns out to be a failure. At this point, the idea is full of potential. It is nothing but potential. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. If you're watching this, odds are we did okay. These both need to be the same amount poured into my Skippy jar. If you're not using a Skippy jar, I mean, your results are going to vary. The mixing is the most important part. It is clamped down very well. I also put a ring of super glue around the inside here to try to keep it from coming out. Hopefully that will be effective. We need to add something to the epoxy. Something to make it fun. The bubbles will destroy an epoxy project. Heat does a good job of drawing the bubbles out. We're going to risk the ire of the epoxy gods and hope for the best. That looks pretty good. There are still some tiny bubbles in there. I'll let it sit until tomorrow. All right, it's been 24 hours. Moment of truth here. Awesome. <laughs> this part is always nerve-wracking, so, but you can't leave it like this. It's all jagged up here, so we're just going to trim it up, get through it, move on to the next step. I think we've got it. A piece like this, with all these bright colors, we'd want something dark to contrast it. And I would usually reach for walnut, but I don't have any walnut in the shop that's large enough, nothing big enough for this. So I do have a bit of cherry, and we'll see how that looks. So now I've got um, these two little bits and I'll just sand those flush on the belt sander. So now the only other thing to do is to glue the bottom on. Just make sure you've got a good even coat. I don't think it's critical that it be perfectly in the center. And now I just need to find something heavy to put on top of it. And I'm just going to clean out any squeeze out that I can reach under there. Isn't that crazy looking? It is really neat. You can't really see the stand that well, which is fine, because um, it's all about the sprinkles. Putting a cake on there would be, would be really sweet. There is no cake. Uh, the cake is a lie. Paul Jenkins' channel is called The Viking Code. He made a very cool bowl with a nerd's rim around the outside, and it got me to thinking, what other candy you can put in uh, in epoxy. Here's some shavings that I've got. That was crazy. If this is your first time with me, um, yes, I would say this is a typical project for me. A little off the beaten path. And if you're into vlog channels, I also have one of those. I'll put the link for that down in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe.